Guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to undertake a two-way ANOVA uh, using Excel's Data Analysis Tool Pack. Okay. Uh, I suppose before we get started, yeah, the first thing uh, probably to point out is that I've already turned on the Data Analysis Tool Pack uh, within Excel, uh, which can be found under the Data Ribbon. Okay, The Data Ribbon and my Data Analysis Tool Pack is, is just over here to the right-hand side of my Data Ribbon. It's, it's, it's labeled Data Analysis, Okay, so that's where the Tool Pack is. Uh, but for this particular, for this particular uh, I suppose, video, uh, what I want to do is I want to undertake a two-way ANOVA. Okay? Now, there's many different forms of a two-way ANOVA, but I suppose in this, in this particular situation, and what I'm interested in is I'm interested in doing a two-way ANOVA. That's where I have two factors or two main effects. But more importantly, uh, this particular two-way ANOVA is one where there has been no replication. Okay? And what I basically mean by that is, uh, well, let me maybe point out my two factors. My first factor is a, a particular type of exercise program that individuals were, were put through. Uh, the exercise program has four different levels of measurement associated with it. Uh, it's, you could have taken a passive program, uh, you could have taken a program that's a little bit more leisurely, a program that's an exercise program that's a bit more moderate in relation to its intensity, uh, or even a program that's more visual rigorous uh, in relation to its intensity. So that's my, I suppose this is my first factor, or my first main effect, let's say. Uh, and then the other factor that I'm dealing with is a factor in relation to the type of drink that the participants had drunk uh, just before undertaking uh, the assessment or the test. So we have uh, particular participants that drank Diet Coke, we have participants that drank regular Coke, and we have participants that drank Red Bull. And the actual experiment, so each one of these drink and exercise, uh, I suppose, are my two factors. They're my independent variables. Uh, exercise has four levels of measurement and drink has three levels of a measurement. Okay? Uh, the dependent variable is the time taken to run 400 meters. Okay? Uh, but more importantly, as I st stated at the start, this two-way ANOVA is a two-way ANOVA with no replication. So it's a two-way ANOVA, no replication. And what I mean by that is that for every possible pairing, of level of independent variable one with independent variable two, we just have a single observation for that possible pairing. For example, when the exercise program is passive and the drink taken was Diet Coke, there's a single, uh, I suppose, let's say, observation for that particular participant. Uh, another example is when the exercise program is moderate and the drink taken is Red Bull, uh, we have a single observation. So the no replication model okay, uh, is a model where we only have single observations for the pairings uh, of the levels of our independent variable. Okay? Now, one of the problems with this particular type of approach with no replication is that we can't test for any interaction effects. Now, the video that follows this particular video will perform a two-way ANOVA with replication, okay? Uh, in which case we can actually test to see whether whether exercise levels, uh, whether the effects associated with exercise levels uh, depend uh, on the type of drink that's that's that has been taken by the participant. More importantly, really, what we're trying to say is here is the time taken to run 400 meters. Yeah, okay. Uh, is that I suppose dependent? Yeah, on exercise and the drink that has been taken. So we're, we're testing, we would be testing for some interaction effect as well. But in a no replication uh, model, uh, we only have single observations, and we can't we can't test for interactions. Okay. So, uh, how do we perform this particular analysis? So, what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose data analysis within uh, Excel here. It's on the data ribbon, so I'm going to choose data analysis. Uh, and what I'm going to choose from my possible options is a two, an ANOVA two-factor without replication, because we only have single observations for the pairings uh, of each level of our independent variables. Uh, so, I'm just going to click OK on that. Uh, the pop-up window comes up, and what it says is it put specify the input range here. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I have got labels uh, in the first row, sorry, in the first row and also the first column here. So I'm going to include them labels uh, as part of the input. So I'm going to choose this cell here, okay, and I'm going to just come down to the very last observation here, okay, which gives us from C4 to FA. There's C4 here, there's FA here, and that's the input range. By default, we can set, by default, when we ask for it in an over two factor without replication, the uh, alpha level, the probability of committing a type 1 error, is automatically set at 0 0.05 for us. Okay, so we'll just go with a, an alpha level of 5%, okay, or with the 5% significance level. I'll specify the output range to be somewhere in this particular in this particular sheet. So I'm going to specify the output range. I'm going to click on the fields, and then I'm going to specify the output range. Let's say to be to be this cell here, H3. And that's all we have to do. Uh, so I just hit OK, and what I get here is I get the output uh, associated with this particular with this particular uh, with this particular model. Okay. Now, maybe I'll just bring this across here. So just one second there. Just bring this across so that we can actually see all of our observations here, and we can see our we can see our our outputs. Okay. So the first thing that we get output is a summary descriptive table. Okay. And the summary descriptive table gives us descriptives, yeah, for each level of measurement associated with both of our independent variables. So you can see, with respect to exercise, uh, we have four roles here, because there's four levels of measurements for passive, leisurely,